After resurrecting the iconic Razer design in its foldable avatar earlier this year, Motorola is now ready to show the tech world its successor, the Razer 5G. So for that price tag, you do expect Motorola to have packed a ton of improvements, don't you? Well, they have. And through my brief time with this phone, I could even argue that this is the best clamshell foldable smartphone yet. Here are 5 questions that need to be answered before you think about getting your hands on this phone. But before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. A closer look and you'll notice that Motorola has incorporated a number of design changes here, fitting for a second generation foldable. Firstly, with the new Razer shut, we can see it has a redesigned camera module with a more tapered chin that no longer houses a capacitive fingerprint sensor. Instead, that module now resides on the back. Speaking of the back, there's plenty of 3D glass on the new model, a major improvement over the plastic back on the first attempt. Motorola has also thrown in some 7000 series aluminium this time for the frame, which makes this device feel a lot more premium and sturdy, both things that weren't quite all true for the first foldable razor. The hinge has seen marked improvements too. As per Motorola's estimates, the new hinge can withstand up to 2 lakh flips, which, as per the company's calculations, should last the average user up to 5 years of use. Add to that a new teardrop curvature to the folding element of the screen and that means that you have a smartphone which closes absolutely flush. That means there's no more gap for dust particles to enter. The new Razer's interior 6.2 inch display and exterior 2.7 inch display have remained unchanged in this revision. The large folding screen is still protected by layers of plastic instead of Samsung's ultra thin glass which we saw on the Galaxy Z Flip earlier this year. This means you still need to be very very careful about accidental bumps and bruises. The quick view panel can now run any app and while that might seem like a bad idea on such a small screen, Motorola says Razer users love the convenience of the phone's exterior screen and have actively asked to employ it for as many apps as possible. And if you're daring enough to run a YouTube video on that 2.7 inch screen, well, that's on you. The tech here won't hold you back. Now, Motorola was never really a company known for its imaging tech. But the single 16MP shooter on the first Razer was absolutely poor. In fact, there were budget phones which could click better pictures, especially in low light. Thankfully, the new Razer's optics has seen a serious step up from 16MP to 48MP this year. Optical image stabilization and laser autofocus are also on tap. Above the display on the inside of the phone, you'll find a 20MP shooter now, which is a massive step up in quality when you compare it to the 2019 Razer. Heck, this is even better than Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip. However, if you want the best possible selfies, your best bet is still to go ahead with that primary 48 megapixel sensor and to use the quick view display as your viewfinder. Apart from the camera hardware, one of the Razer 5G's biggest improvements concerns its specs. Fortunately, Motorola has really stepped up the internals on the Razer 5G. Out goes the Snapdragon 710 and in comes in the much more capable Snapdragon 765G processor. Couple that with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, you now know that the Razer 5G will be making much lesser concessions than its predecessor. You can only fit a battery so large in a device as compact as the Moto Razer. So it isn't very surprising that we don't compare a clamshell phone to say a 7000 mAh touting Galaxy M51 for that matter. For the new Razer, the battery capacity has been upgraded to 2800 mAh. Now, this doesn't sound like much on paper, but it should theoretically add at least a couple of hours to your usage. Motorola claims that Razer users tend to eke better endurance out of their devices than you would with a conventional smartphone. This is due to the quick view display suitability for glanceable notifications which ensure that you don't wake your second display quite as often as you might on a normal smartphone. It's rare to see a phone company release a greatly improved version of an existing device less than a year after launch. But that seems to be exactly what Motorola have done 
with the Razer 5G. This new foldable looks to be an improvement over the company's underwhelming first effort in practically every possible way, from its cameras to the processor, the battery life and even its design. With 5G connectivity thrown in as well, this comes off as a far better value proposition than the original Razer was. So on paper, it's clear to see that Motorola has put in the effort. What remains to be seen though, is whether those improvements translate to a better Razer that's better overuse. A verdict that we'll have to hold on to until we review the product in depth. That's all from me today. This is Shomik Sanwarachaji signing off for Mashable India. Stay well, stay safe.